Paul joins us now live. A big concern for these business owners over there. Absolutely. Good evening, Josh. Yeah, Ybor City businesses doing what they can to restore the area's reputation. It's been 10 days since the shooting took place, and one restaurant owner says that sales are down as much as 50%, and it could be December before they're able to make up for the loss. Meanwhile, business owners have a very distinct message for the community. Dinner hour on a Wednesday night expected to be quiet inside the 7th and Grove restaurant in Ybor City. But owner Dr. Jamaris Glenn noticing a significant slowdown, and it's been that way for more than a week. It has been slow. You know, uh, not as much foot traffic as, as it usually is. It's not as buzzing as it usually is. Um, and I think every business owner on this street will agree. Ten days ago, Ybor City rocked after a massive shooting erupted on 7th Avenue, just a few blocks away from 7th and Grove. Two people killed, more than a dozen injured, businesses still recovering, the dip in sales significant. I would say like 50 to 60 percent drop, um, but again, still very optimistic. Um, I think that it's going to take us a few more weeks of just kind of like, you know, Letting people know that we're open, letting people know that we're here. We definitely have are surrounded by the clubs and everything, but they don't dictate what Ebor is. The Drip Ebor Clay Studio facing similar challenges. Owner Jonathan Scanlon says his daily pottery classes aren't as full. It's a hit for everybody, you know, it's an unfortunate thing. Well, it definitely has slowed down a little bit, just Ebor in general, but you know, people are still coming in. But as police continue to search for more suspects, business owners, optimistic customers will return, staying patient in the meantime. I know that it's going to turn around. I know that we have a great community behind us who loves us and supports us. Now, as for where the investigation stands right now, one suspect has been arrested in the case, but the search is still on for additional suspects. And this week, police said that there are multiple people in addition to that that they are looking for and hope to speak to in connection with the case. Reporting in Tampa, Lenny Sue Paul, 8 on your side.